Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario Galaxy 2 playthrough. Uh, we are back. Uh, we actually finished the game in the last part. Um, the main game, anyway. There's still some post-game stuff we have to do. And uh, we're going to be taking care of that stuff next. Uh, but yeah, uh, Bowser has been defeated. And now we can uh, kind of rest easy, knowing that his uh, Bowser-like hijinks are now at an end. Uh, but first, we have a letter from Luigi. Dear bro, still looking for power stars? If you need any help from me, just look for the L on Starship Mario. I'll switch with you anytime, bro. From Luigi. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, Luigi can be used now whenever we want. All I have to do is go down here, go inside this door, and... Luigi required. and Or acquired, not required. And yeah, you can go back and bring Mario if you want, but um, you know what, let's use Luigi for a bit since we actually have the option. It is kind of weird to uh, select Luigi at the beginning of a level every time, so this is honestly a nice change of pace. Uh, but before we move on to World S, the special world, we have a few loose ends we have to take care of. Uh, first, we have a uh, comet on this planet right here, and we also have a secret mission that we have here. I don't know when we're going to get access to this, but uh, I have a feeling that maybe we'll get access after we uh, finish this, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, Bowser's Galaxy Generator. We have a Prankster Comet, and much like all of the other uh, Bowser um, Comets, this one is going to be a speedrun. It's Bowser's Big Bad speedrun, actually. So yeah, you can expect this one to be uh, quite challenging because we have to get, navigate pretty much that entire final level again. And uh, this level is pretty huge. I think they do give you a checkpoint even in um, Comet mode. But still, I think if you use that checkpoint, you'll like waste a lot of time. Also, Luigi showing his use very early on with uh, being able to grab that... Uh, Sling Star very early. That's also very nice that I was able to take out that Boomerang Bro very quickly. Now we gotta go float down here, grab this one. I think for this, you don't wanna... Okay, maybe you do wanna do that. Oh, God! Um. Yeah, that's a death. Uh... <laughs> I, I've never actually had that happen to me before. I've, that's, I found that very, very weird that that happened. Well, either way, we get to try again. We get to see this really cool triple jump. I think I even made that one a little better because I didn't get hit that time. Uh, one thing you can also do right here, if you want to like just take these uh, boomerang bros out of the equation altogether, I think you can actually uh, use star bits if you have any. And, like, you can kind of, like, use the star bits to stun them. To make sure they don't, like, get in your way or whatever. Anyway, let's try this again. Uh, I think this time I'm too high, though. <laughs> okay, wasting a little bit of time here, unfortunately. Damn, I did it again. Well, either way. Got that decently quickly, I think. So let us uh, keep moving. Oh, I think that's actually kind of a shortcut you can take. Oh, but I do need the spin drill. That is one downside. If you take that shortcut, you will be down a drill. So make sure you grab one before you go that way. And this section right here I think is where you'll probably make your biggest time gain, maybe even biggest time loss. Again, doesn't help that I took a hit right there. But like one thing I'm gonna do is I think if you keep writing this up you'll actually get another time clock. Yeah, so I think that was actually kind of a good call. Because I got that both of those in pretty quick succession. Grab this as well. 
And... Oh, you know what? I love when you do the uh, wall jump after doing a backflip. Or, like, doing the spin. Actually, no, it's all three. Doing a backflip, wall jumping, and then doing a uh, galaxy spin. I think that looks really, really cool. And we're actually making a lot of time right here. We actually have over, like, or not over, but about a minute to do this next part. Now, here's the checkpoint. And if you actually die or lose or whatever at this point, um, if you start over again, you'll only have 30 seconds. So all that extra time that you had beforehand, you will not have here. So keep that in mind while you're progressing. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to get... Ugh, damn it. Wow! Okay. Okay, even if I'm wasting time here... I almost got sniped by that uh, boomerang. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, honestly. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait this out, which will cost me some more time. This could actually be very close. I think there are a lot of... Uh, I think there are a lot of clocks near the end here. Still, I do not like how uh, close we got to zero right there. Of course. Okay, I think I think we'll be just fine. I think they give you enough clocks right here to make up any sort of difference. You're just gonna want want to make sure that you get them both. That's not good. Actually, I don't think that's too bad. Oh, yeah, they don't give you a clock there, just a one-up. Oh, but I don't have... Oh, shoot, this could be... Oh, that works, too. So we just have the last part right here. At this point, it's literally just waiting... And again, when you get that clock, that pretty much guarantees that you're going to get here no problem. And there we go, Stargate. Okay, so... That's going to do it for the Galaxy Generator. We did it with Luigi. <laughs> was a little stressful there at the end, but I think we, uh, we made it work. That galaxy is now completed. We got a ghost because we used Luigi. Do we go back to Mario now? Oh, okay. We have the letter for, uh, I believe, the last galaxy. Hey, it's the chimp. There's a new game over in the slimy spring galaxy. If you think you got what it takes, swing on by. Okay, so here we go. We have another uh, chimp mission here. And okay, that's kind of cool. You don't switch back to Mario, so we get to use uh, Luigi for a bit if we really want to. Which, honestly, you know what? I'll go ahead and use Luigi for a small bit, just because we have used Mario the whole way through. Maybe for uh, the next part of the game, I'll... Uh, I, I guess I could just use Luigi altogether, just because... I mean, he does make it interesting, and... Uh, I'll, I'll think on it. I'll think on it. So here we have the Chimp's Coin Challenge. So I'm guessing coins will be involved. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I know how coins will be involved, too. We have all those ghosts. I think I have a pretty good idea how this is going to play out. Hey, pal. Oh. <laughs> Say, hey, you're doing okay out there, but it takes more than a few lucky jumps to impress the chimp. Think you can get 10,000 points or more in this game? If you can, maybe I got a star for you. Or maybe I don't. So what do you are you gamer say? Uh, ah, so you game or what? <laughs> you're going for ten thousand points. Good luck. You're gonna need it, pal. So yes, uh, what we got here? Oh, it's just star bits. But I mean, star bits do give you points, and I did just jump over a whole bunch of coins right there. <laughs> Probably not a smart play, but you know, we'll do what we can. Uh, why aren't you... Okay, there we go. I was like, wait, why aren't you not swimming down? 
because I was too close to the water, I guess. Okay. So I feel like I'm a little behind right now because of all the weird little control mess-ups I've done. But this doesn't take a genius. Oh man, turn around. Oh, come on! Get off it! Okay, I'm just gonna... God, he almost sniped me again. Thankfully, it seems like we have a lot of chances to get not only coins, but also points as well. Unfortunately, the light does nothing against those porky puffers. I didn't throw it! <sighs> Man, I'm getting very unlucky with the controls right now. <laughs> one up gives you a thousand points, so that's always a nice thing to get. So, literally, we need to get like 30 more coins, which may not be too bad. I think this is actually. Oh, yeah, for sure. This will probably be... Okay, we need... A lot of ghosts in here. Which means a lot of potential for points and coins. Yeah, I think we got this. Actually, I'm not hitting any of them, so... Okay, we got it. So overall, I mean, this wasn't too hard to do, I guess. They give you a lot of opportunities, even if you fumble around with the controls, but... Still, my god, I was having a hard time with some sections. Wonderful! That's 10,990 points. You are my greatest rival when it comes to a gaming skill. Take the star as a token of my respect, and maybe you can teach me some of your moves sometime. No! I'm gonna say no to that, because... You held... I want to say, like, six or seven power stars from me. So, uh, my apologies if it doesn't seem like I'm that thrilled to teach you my gaming moves. But, with that done, we are now finished with World 6, which means we can specifically focus on World S. So, I hope you guys are ready for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do something, too. Um, it looks like we have a letter from the the uh, Lady of the Stars. <laughs> be strong, and I know that wherever you are right now, I believe we will be reunited soon. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. 50 star bits. Okay, so uh, that's actually what I was kind of leading into right there. Uh, I think I am going to go to Bank Toad, who is... Somewhere around here. Are you Bang Toad? No, you're Mail Toad. Are you Bang Toad? Yep, friendly Bank Toad. So, let me do this. I'm going to make a withdrawal. I did not want that many. I think we only need 1,800. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these star bits now. And throughout my adventure, if I need more, if I need to fill up Bank Toad again, I'll just reimburse them the ones that I need. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we're going to go to World S now. We briefly saw this before. We got some interesting galaxies here. 
And now we're going to explore them. I believe each of these galaxy only have one star and one comet. So that's essentially what we're dealing with here. So first up we have Mario Squared Galaxy. This is actually a throwback. Make Mario a star. But yeah, this is actually a throwback to um, basically Mario Galaxy 1. There was a galaxy that was very similar to this. I don't think you had to use flip switch panels though. I think it was actually uh, silver stars. And I don't remember if these fire guys were here either, but um... You know, it's, it's basically the same idea. You're uh, on a 8-bit uh, Mario. And you need to essentially solve the puzzle without uh, basically making too many of the platforms go away. So we're going to go over here. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright. Oh, shoot. And there I go, starting to uh, undo the progress I had already made. Although, honestly, I do feel like this is harder than the uh, Mario equivalent that we did in Galaxy 1. I don't remember these uh, this laser guy being around. I'm going to go ahead and do this part before I go back and get the other part. Now I just have to have to undo this progress again. Damn it! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen too. As soon as I saw that laser, I'm like, I'm gonna trip that laser, aren't I? Okay, let's try this again. It also doesn't help that we have these like little fire guys around too. They do make that kind of obnoxious. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, also don't forget about the Comet Metal too. You are, you will probably be in kind of completion mode at this point, so... When you see those Comet Metals, you almost... Oh right, I have to collect those too. Wait, how'd that get deactivated? I don't understand sometimes. Okay. I think I'm okay now, because I should be able to get the rest of these without too much of an issue. And there we go. Mario's entire face turns green. It turns green with envy. Envy for what? I don't know. I mean, we are playing as Luigi. Maybe Mario is secretly envious of Luigi. This whole time we thought it was the other way around. Maybe, uh... Maybe instead of Luigi fighting for the spotlight, maybe Mario yearns to not be in the spotlight. Would be kind of an interesting tale if that was the case, you know? But yeah, there we go. We got, uh... We got that star. We got the Comet Medal. And pretty much right after we complete this, they're going to give us the uh, comet for that as well. So we're not done yet. We're going to go right back into that. And because this was kind of a throwback to Mario Galaxy 1, maybe the uh, comet will also be a bit of a throwback to Mario Galaxy 1. Luigi's Purple Coin Chaos. Uh, so not only did they bring back this very memorable star mission 
from Mario Galaxy 1. They also brought back uh, the infamous one. The one that people uh, really, really disliked. And... They added cosmic clones to it, too. <laughs> Mario Galaxy 2, everyone. Mario Galaxy 2. But again, I mean... You know how cosmic clones work. They're really only bad if you make them bad, I think. You just kind of find have to try to find a way around them and not worry about them. And I think they also give you, much like in Galaxy 1, I think they also give you kind of a surplus of coins as well. So you don't have to collect every single one of them. You just have to collect a lot of them. Because we're already at the uh, 60s. We still have a few other locations to check. Yeah, maybe they don't give you a surplus. Maybe they give you just enough in this one. I can't turn the camera, though, which is kind of annoying. Also, that coin is kind of in a very bad place. Especially since I'm getting rid of more of the floor. Yep, oh man, I almost had it too. It was literally those two coins. Those were literally the only two coins I had left to get, so I kind of screwed myself on that, unfortunately. Okay, so I've been having some issues with this. I've failed this three times. In the 98, 99, and 100 coin range. That's right, I've gotten all the purple coins and even failed that way too. This one is really, really challenging. This is, this honestly, this is challenging in a number of ways. Just because, like, you have the cosmic clones, which are pretty bad. Like, let's be real. Really freaking hate these guys. But, um, also... You're killing a large part of the land around you. And because you're doing that, getting back to the start can be really, really hard to do. So, whenever you're doing this, do yourself a favor and leave some platforms at the beginning there. Otherwise, you're going to have a rough time and you're probably going to have an instance where... You get all the purple coins, and then you just can't make it back because you wasted too many of the platforms. It's just... It makes this really, really difficult. Just that aspect alone. Obviously, like... This is, this is definitely difficult. I mean, you have the cosmic clones everywhere. They already are freaking annoying as it is. But, you know, there's other aspects that make this pretty challenging, too. And you have to control all of them in pretty much one solid run. Which can be really, really difficult. But, I think we got it. Barring I don't do something stupid right here. Which I almost kind of did, TBH. And I also forgot to collect the star bits left behind by the clones. But whatever, I was very anxious to finish that. That de definitely took me a couple of tries, I'm not going to lie. In fact, I actually game overed and uh, had to <laughs> go back to the main menu and then come back through here, which was not fun. It was definitely not fun, but thankfully we are done with it now and we can move on. Uh, let me just verify here. Well, I'll verify after I open this next part up. Okay, so... Okay, you need 2,000. Well, I'm sure I'll collect 2,000 before that point.